Dear brothers and sisters. Today, we embark on a sacred journey, exploring the depths of shame and discovering the transformative power of redemption. In a world where shame can bind hearts and hinder growth, we seek solace in God's grace, understanding that his love has the ability to restore and renew even the most broken spirits. Psalm 34:5. Those who look to him are radiant. Their faces are never covered with shame. Before we can embark on the path to recovery, we must acknowledge the weight of shame. Understand that it is not a garment God intends for us to wear. Through prayer and reflection, turn to him and allow his light to dispel the shadows of shame. Romans 8:1. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. God's love is boundless and unconditional. Embrace the truth that in Christ there is no condemnation. His love surpasses our mistakes, and through repentance, we find freedom from the chains of shame. Acts 3:19. Repent, then, and turn to God, so that your sins may be wiped out, that times of refreshing may come from the Lord. True restoration begins with repentance. Turn to God with a contrite heart, acknowledging your shortcomings. In repentance, find the pathway to forgiveness, and let the refreshing grace of the Lord wash away the stains of shame. James 5:16. Therefore confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Community plays a vital role in the recovery from shame. Share your struggles with trustworthy brothers and sisters, for in confession and prayer, healing emerges. God's power works through the support of a loving community. Isaiah 61:3. To bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of joy instead of mourning, and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. In God's hands, shame can be transformed into a testimony of his grace. Allow him to exchange the ashes of shame for a crown of beauty, the oil of joy, and a garment of praise. Your story becomes a testament to God's redemptive power. Psalm 103:8 to 14. The Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in love. He does not treat us as our sins deserve or repay us according to our iniquities. Extend the compassion of God to yourself. Understand that God's love is abundant, and he does not treat us as our sins deserve. Cultivate self-compassion as an integral part of the journey toward recovery. 1 John 1:9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. God's forgiveness is complete and unconditional. As you journey toward recovery, release the weight of self-blame. Embrace the truth that God forgives and allow his purifying love to wash away any lingering guilt. Colossians 3:15 Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts since as members of one body you are called to peace and be thankful cultivate a spirit of gratitude as you heal let the peace of Christ rule in your heart and be thankful for the lessons learned the strength gained and the opportunity for transformation gratitude becomes a healing balm for wounds inflicted by shame 1 John 1:7 But if we walk in the light as he is in the light we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus His son purifies us from all sin. Step into the light of God's love. Walking in his light dispels the shadows of shame. In fellowship with him and others, experience the purifying power of the blood of Jesus, knowing that you are cleansed and renewed. Proverbs 4:23. Above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. Guard your heart against negative influences. Surround yourself with positivity and godly wisdom. Filtering out negativity helps create a space for healing and prevents the resurgence of shame in your life. Matthew 25:40. The king will reply, "Truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me." Engage in acts of service as a way to redeem your past. By serving others, you align yourself with God's purpose, demonstrating his love and grace. Serving becomes a powerful expression of your own redemption story. Philippians 3:13 to 14. Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it. But one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead, I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. Release the past and press forward with a renewed purpose. Understand that God has called you heavenward in Christ Jesus. Your journey of recovery becomes a part of the greater purpose that God has for your life. Romans 12:2. Do not conform to the pattern of this world. but be transformed by the renewing of your mind then you will be able to test and approve what god's will is his good pleasing and perfect will renew your mind through transformative thought patterns align your thinking with god's truth and reject the negative patterns of the world as your mind is renewed 
you gain clarity on God's will, experiencing a profound shift in perspective. Proverbs 15:22. Plans fail for lack of counsel, but with many advisors, they succeed. Recognize the value of seeking professional help. Just as God provides spiritual guidance, He also equips professionals to offer support. Embrace the resources available to you, understanding that seeking counsel is a courageous step towards healing. Galatians 6 2. Carry each other's burdens, and in this way, you will fulfill the law of Christ. Connect with a supportive community. Share your burdens with fellow believers who can provide empathy, encouragement, and shared healing journeys. In community, you find strength, understanding, and a sense of belonging that contributes to your healing. Psalm 27 14. Wait for the Lord, be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. Exercise patience in the process of healing. Allow God's timing to unfold, trusting that His plans are perfect. As you wait on the Lord, you build strength, take heart, and discover that healing unfolds in His perfect time. Ephesians 4:32. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. Extend the same compassion to yourself that God offers. Embrace self-kindness and forgiveness. Reflecting God's love towards yourself creates a space for healing and restoration. Psalm 147.3 He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Engage in worship as a form of healing. Draw near to God through praise and worship, allowing His presence to heal your broken heart and bind up your wounds. Worship becomes a powerful expression of surrender and trust in God's healing touch. Psalm 77.11-12 I will remember the deeds of the Lord, Yes, I will remember your miracles of long ago. I will consider all your works and meditate on all your mighty deeds. Document your journey of healing through journaling. Remember God's faithfulness and the miracles in your life. Journaling becomes a tangible way to reflect on God's transformative work and serves as a testimony to His grace. Hebrews 6:19. We have this hope as an anchor for the soul, firm and secure. It enters the inner sanctuary behind the curtain. Anchor your soul in hope trusting in God's promises. Let the assurance of His unfailing love and redemptive power be your anchor in the storm. Hope becomes a guiding light, leading you toward a future filled with God's grace and restoration. Dear brothers and sisters, may these additional insights bring depth and richness to your journey of recovering from shame. As you navigate the various aspects of healing, may God's presence, wisdom, and transformative love continue to lead you toward complete restoration. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit accompany you on the sacred path of healing. Amen.